Banana Love TV. Holy shit. Which girl you gotta make sweet potato pie? I've made this pie only one time. It was Christmas and it was the best thing ever. I have freestyled it. So I'm hoping I remember everything. I can't believe how good it was the first time I made it. So I roasted these in the oven on 400 for an hour and 30 minutes. I poked holes in it and I roasted it. So it's been cooling for a good 30 minutes. I did not wanna, you know, burn my hands off. So I'm just taking off the skin. And these are two huge potatoes. And I do put mine in the oven. Like I said, I do not boil mine because when you boil it, you're boiling out a lot of the sweet potato flavor. So it's better to just put it in the oven. Boiling is faster, but if you want some authentic and some good sweet potato pie, you gotta put it in the oven. You gotta roast it, bake it. Now, measurements. I don't really have measurements. Like I said, I only made this one time. So I'm gonna smack, oh, my, my hand hurts. While you're smashing it, when you see these little strings, you just take them out. Now, a lot of people use the little machines. You can use it. That's a microwave for the butter. But we have one of those machines, but I don't feel like that right now. So next you're gonna add some sugar. I don't know, I have measurements, but. Oh, look at all the sugar, I know what y'all saying, but if you know anything about sweet potatoes, they're not really sweet, they just like bland. I have a stick and a quarter of uh, butter. Melt it. Splash of milk. I'm gonna do two eggs to bind everything together. A splash of lemon juice. You can use lemon extract, but lemon juice. Vanilla. This is the ground nutmeg. This is cinnamon, and this is ground cloves. Stir, it smells amazing. Keep on stirring because maybe you got the egg in there and the butter was kind of warm and potatoes are still kind of warm so you don't want it to scramble in there. You, you got to stir, 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 mash. If you're doing it by hand, and then keep on stirring. You can use either a regular pie crust, regular, or you can use deep dish. I'm gonna use deep dish. Please taste it, make sure. I know it's raw egg in here, but it ain't gonna kill you. That's a good. That's good. I am gonna add some more sugar, believe it or not. And the sugar. So this has gonna taste. This is the consistency that I want. It tastes amazing and I'm gonna put it in my pie crust. Now, we're gonna pour the filling in. And these are two deep dish pies. Okay, this is what I'm doing tonight. I left it in like five minutes too long, but 375 for 45 minutes. Then I left it in for additional five and then it got, this happened, so. Because I, I was doing this, I was putting um, some turkey meat in water in the pot that's going to just boil all night to flavor the water on low. But yeah, this is the outcome nice and dense. And don't touch it, let it sit until tomorrow so it can set and you good to go. Here's all the cornbread for the dressing. And we are rocking and rolling.
And then, look who it is. Hey. Okay, here's the cornbread before we go into the oven. I should say the dressing. So remember the cornbread that I showed you guys yesterday? Well, I crumbled all that up, add three boxes of stove top stuffing, three bell peppers, one onion, and three stalks of celery. On top of that, the chicken that we put in the oven, I also put those vegetables on top of that and use that to create the liquid that makes the cornbread juicy like this. Meaning, so, when she put the chicken in the oven, she added vegetables to the pan as well. So every every couple hours or minutes? Every couple of half hours. Every every 30 minutes, she go in there and drain the juice and use it for this. Correct. She make her own type of like stock. She also, you use stock, don't you? I use uh, chicken stock and I also use cream of chicken. How many? Uh, I use three cream of chickens for a full pan. And three, pretty much three or three. Three uh, cream of chicken, three stove stuff stuffing and uh, one whole green pepper, one whole celery or three whole stalks and a whole onion. And then you just keep going until you get it to the consistency that you want. And what you want it to be is a little bit juicy when you go into the oven. I'll show you this side. So it won't be dry. So it won't be dry. So we're going to go one more time. Did you time. season this already? Mm -hmm. With the powder seasonings? You want to say what you put in there? Yeah, so when I put in there, um, so I season as I go. When I put the cornbread in with the seasoning mix that comes with the soap top stuffing and the crumbs, in addition to that, yes, I put in sage, black pepper, paprika, um, and garlic powder. And now we just wait. I'll show you when the other pan of juice is ready. Um, the broth, homemade broth from the meat that we're cooking for dinner is ready, and we'll pour that in, and we'll be ready to go. See you soon. Okay, so what I am doing is just cutting up the sweet potatoes. I have four, five, I have five huge sweet potatoes. Oops, that's too small. It's like oranges. So I'm gonna rinse these off good and just sit because I don't want to crowd the oven. So I'm just going to let these be cleaned and keep them in the bowl until I'm ready for them. Let me just show you what's been going on since last night. This is a tur some turkey wings and turkey necks that's been boiling in here since last night. The color has changed just to get the flavor and then we just got to add the vegetables and the greens with the vegetable seasonings and then the greens and then the seasoning and then but then this should be like so tender, we it should be able to be uh, shredded. So, yeah, we are finally back with an update. Um, it's been a couple hours since I even did all this. This was in the refrigerator. I just took it out. Um, you know, turkey takes forever to cook, so turkey's gonna come out in four minutes. So I have a stick and a half of butter here. I'm about to make the sweet potatoes. Brown sugar, regular sugar, vanilla, pumpkin spice. Ground cinnamon, nutmeg, cloves, and salt. And of course, butter. And that's all. Um, it's really simple. You're basically just making a syrup. Green pot over there is macaroni and it's just a syrup. So, butter is melting well. You want to add about a cup of sugar. We may have to need more because like I said, I have five huge potatoes. Sugar, same amount of each. I probably don't have to add more butter. I'm gonna add the other stick of butter. So two sticks of butter in total. Cinnamon, nutmeg, cloves, not too many cloves. Salt. And when you first pour your syrup over your sweet potatoes, you're gonna see that it may look not look like a lot, but because when you cook your sweet potatoes, you put the foil on top, it's gonna create more. So you may think it's not a lot, and as soon as you cook it for an hour and you lift up the foil, it's gonna be so much syrup. So add some vanilla. 
melon here. I'm gonna taste this. You will burn yourself, so <laughs> wait till it cool off a little bit. Perfect, yeah, I swear to God, this is perfect. It's cold at the bottom, so if you can see in the inside of there, you see it has at the bottom, so that means we have enough. So just go in, make sure you just you do, do, do like that with the ones that didn't really get it. It's gonna distribute, don't worry, but this is just extra. Okay, trying to show you guys how to make the greens. So like I said, this pot has been on the stove since last night at eight o'clock. It is now one o'clock in the evening. And all I did was touch the bone and everything fell off. That's why I boiled mine all night. So this is the smoked turkey meat and it's tender. I basically put bell pepper on it and everything that I cook, to be completely honest. <laughs> it just gives it flavor. And of course, you're gonna add a little garlic in that too. So let's... Just like that. I think we got all collars. We got four bags of collars. So, they're already washed. You can get the fresh greens if you want and pick it yourself. But, take that time for that. I always go to the story. I'm just doing some stirring, bringing the bottom to the top to make sure our greens are submerged in the liquid. At this point, we're gonna put some cheese in here. So, on your soup mix. Oh, cool. I'm gonna be done now. This is black pepper, which is like the chicken bouillon cubes. For now, some thyme. For our red pepper. I don't think I can fit this other bag. I'm gonna get started with this macaroni. So, we can get all everything you need right from all these. You need either Velveeta or this all these brand of course, your noodles, egg, Kobe Jack, cheddar, salt, pepper, sugar, sour cream, milk, whole milk, and mozzarella cheese. So, what we're gonna do first is cut up our cheeses. So, I'm gonna start off with just half of this cheese. So, you want to cut it up in small. Go ahead and add our, this has been cooling for like shit, 30 minutes too. Add the block cheeses, black pepper. Salt. We gotta get the sugar. Okay. That was like half a cup. Did I mention we put cayenne in this? We put cayenne in this too. <laughs> and a little bit of nutmeg. Not a lot of nutmeg at all. This is a shredded cheddar. A little bit of that. The sour cream. This is like, this is almost gone. And I have a, a full one too. So in total we probably use a whole jar, but this one was open to. Don't skip out on the sour cream. I'm telling you, y'all. It gives it just what it needs. Add a little bit of Kobe Jack.
taste it. Perfect. It's my cheddar. Okay, so when we layer this, we're gonna layer it like a lasagna, okay? I'm not gonna be able to use all these noodles, so I'm just gonna get the cheese out, the big chunks, whatever's left. And I guarantee this will be a hit. This is what sweet potatoes look like. Look how much juice. You see what I meant about, look at that. A lot of sweet potatoes. That done. Um, I don't know if I showed y'all the turkey. Easter. You're so big. Hi, Mr. Easter. What's the death? Hi. Show the bracelet. I gotta put his necklace on. This is a. Uh, you don't need it on. Okay, you sure? She did. Uh, and we made eggs too. Well, we could. So we could. We could. We could. We could. We could. We could. He's gonna try sweet potatoes. He's eating sweet potatoes for the first time. So let's let's see if he likes it. <laughs> B, look at his face. He got a. Like it, boys? Do you like it? He finished it. <gasps> oh. Big fella, you are eating potatoes? Oh, Winky. You eating potatoes? You like it? It tastes good, Granddaddy. <laughs> it tastes good. I'm gonna let you eat. If you ain't paying attention. <laughs> Winky. Good job. You like it. You got yeah, the yeah, sweet potato. Okay, y'all. Food is done. I'm gonna show y'all the pool from this. This is for my vlog, y'all. Sorry. Dressing, some rolls, homemade cornbread, sweet potatoes, uh, macaroni. Even in this Come on. I dropped it. 